Okay, well, two quadratic equations on the spot. The first one is x squared minus 25x, and that's equal to 0. And for the second one, we only have x squared minus 25, and that's equal to 0. So there's no x. Hmm, so how can we solve this? Be sure you pause the video and think about this first before you watch the solution, okay? All right, I trust you guys to actually do that. So now let's take a look. Let's do this one first. We see that we have two terms on the left-hand side, and the right-hand side is equal to 0 already. So we can just solve this by factoring. And the way to factor this is, because they have uh, x in common, so we can just factor that out. So we can get x times. Originally, we have x squared. We factor one of them out already, so just have x left. And then minus 25, this x is out already. So that's what we have. Then, then we can just put this factor to be 0, and then the second factor, x minus 25, also make it equal 0. This right here is actually done already. This is the first answer, and for the second answer, we can just add 25 on both sides. So that way, we can see x is equal to 25. Alright, so for this question, we have these two answers, and we are done. For the second question, we actually have two ways to do it. The first way is, we can factor this as well but we will have to use the difference of two square method because we don't have the x right here. This right here we do, so we can just factor it out, right? But for this one, we can look at this as x squared and then minus the 25, it's the same as 5 squared, and that's equal to 0. When we have a difference of two squares, we can factor the out as x minus 5 times x plus 5. You just change the minus and also the plus right here, that's all. right? And then for this, we can just make the first factor, x minus 5, make it equal to 0, and then the other one, x plus 5, go ahead and put that as 0. For this, just add 5 on both sides. So we get x is equal to 5. And for this, minus 5 on both sides. So that way we get x is equal to negative 5. And as we can see, we have these two answers. And of course, these two, they are different questions, even though they look so similar, right? But the way that you do it is very different, and we have different answers. So as a little bonus, I'll show you how else you can do this. Here we have x squared minus 25. That's equal to 0. So we have a perfect square right here. We can move the number to the left hand side to the right hand side first by adding the 25 on both sides. So that is and that will cancel. And we will just get x squared on the left hand side. That's equal to positive 25. Well, to get rid of the square, we can take the square root on both sides. But we see that we have positive and also negative earlier. Right here, don't forget to put the plus or minus because you have to ensure you do have those two answers, right? Square, square root cancel, so finally we see x is indeed equal to plus or minus square root of 25, which is just a 5. And there we have it, same answer as this method. So you can let me know which one that you prefer. So that's it.